Loneliness affects everyone. It doesn't matter how old you are or your social status or where you currently stand in time. It happens. Everyone experiences it at some point in their life. And ironically, it's kind of a comforting situation because it's like, I'm not the only one who feels this way. But even still, that doesn't help us feel any better about our current situation. Now, the conventional solution for loneliness is basically get better at being social, talk to people, make new friends. And logically, it makes sense. We feel lonely because we're alone and we don't have anyone to talk to. We feel like we don't belong to any group of people. But what if there's another approach at dealing with loneliness that differs from this obvious solution, but still helps us feel better and at the very least, a little bit more content? So this is a quote from Carl Jung's autobiography, Memories, Dreams, Reflections, and if you don't know anything about Carl Jung, basically he was a psychoanalyst from the late 19th century to the early 20th century, and he contributed a lot to psychology. But anyway, Carl Jung realized later in his life that loneliness doesn't come from having no friends and no people around us, it comes from the fact that we're unable to communicate these things that we care about. And after I came across that idea in the book, I thought, wow, that's, that's actually a really interesting way of thinking about things. So after a little bit of contemplating, I came up with this really interesting thought. So. If loneliness comes from being unable to communicate the things that are important to us, then maybe we can use creativity to deal with loneliness. Creativity and self-expression are essentially extensions of ourselves, and they first come from our ideas and our thoughts, and they currently reside inside of us. So if we allow these things to exist outside of us, then they can essentially become physical parts of our identity. So to put it simply, creativity and self-expression allows us to communicate these things that are important to us and in a way we can conquer loneliness. And I think this makes sense because we do get a sense of achievement just by creating something and expressing ourselves in a way that is pretty much enjoyable for us. For example, if you think about uh, any creative endeavor like, um, let's say photography, uh, graphic design, painting, uh, dancing, theater, uh, pretty much anything, and you do that, it's like, yo, I just expressed myself and you know, this is something that I care about. This is something that I think is really important and that's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm partaking in whatever activity it is and it's something that I enjoy. And in a way, we establish this independence for ourselves that doesn't really depend on the validation, acceptance or attention of anyone else because, you know, this is something that I enjoy. I, this is something that I do for myself, by myself and for myself. And I think that's something to be proud of. Obviously, this isn't the only way to deal with loneliness, and I say this because there can be multiple ways of going about it, and I think it really depends on who you are as a person and what you're most comfortable with. Personally, I think the best way is the most conventional way, which is, you know, just talk to people, make new friends, and reach out to people. Sometimes it might feel weird to just message someone and say, you know, hey, uh, I'm kind of feeling sad, like maybe we can go hang out or something like that. Or maybe that's just me speaking from an introverted perspective and, you know, I think, well, I mean, I'm introverted by nature, so it's, I don't know, sometimes it'd be like that. But even aside from all of that, I think generally people are social and we want to have friends, we want to have people in our lives that we can trust and talk to and all of that kind of stuff. So it more or less makes sense that being social will help deal with loneliness. And this becomes a lot easier when you take into account the fact that it's the 21st century and we have social media and we have the internet. So it's really easy to just shoot someone a DM and say, hey, let's like, what's up? Or something like that. Like the worst thing they can do is what? Ghost you, block you, uh, not respond, left, like leave you on red. If you really think about it in the grand scheme of things, it's like really insignificant. So you might as well just try and send someone a message. And going back to the idea of creativity, it's not like we can't use our creativity to be more social. Like we could use it to bridge the disconnect between ourselves and other people and considering that creativity is an extension of ourselves and in other words, uh, an extension of our individuality, you know, like what makes us who we are, I think it can and should be used to find other people like us. We might learn something new from seeing the creative sides of other people and it can also inspire us to further develop our own creativity. But with all of that said, I do think this entire idea assumes something very, very critical, and it's that we do have some creative ability, and in other words, it assumes that we are creative. So what if we aren't creative and we aren't social, then are we just doomed to be lonely forever?
I don't think that's the case, whether we are or aren't creative. I just think it's better to do something if we're in a situation like this. And I think creativity can be used as a potential solution. Or at the very least, we could use it as a way to find comfort in solitude.